Hello everyone, this is Vijay and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will discuss the solutions of previous year questions of CPJ entrance examination. So guys, before going to the today's session, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me in Telegram for more updates. Now, let's start the today's session. See the question number 29. What is given if z equals to f of x cube plus y cube? If z equals to f of x cube plus y cube, here p value is dou z by dou x and q value is dou z by dou y. Here p value is dou z by dou x and q value is dou z by dou y. Let's see the solution. Here a given equation is z equals to f of x cube plus y cube. Consider it has equation 1. Now we partial differentiate equation 1 with respect to the x. So differentiation of z is dou z by dou x and differentiation of f is f dash of x cube plus y cube. And differentiation of x cube is 3x square. So partial differentiation of y cube is 0. Since we are partial differentiating with respect to the x. And we know that p value is dou z by dou x. So p equals to f dash of x cube plus y cube into 3x square. That is equation number 2. Now we partial differentiate equation 1 with respect to the y. Then see here dou z by dou y equals to f dash of x cube plus y cube into 3y square. Here we are partial differentiating with respect to the y. We know that q value is dou z by dou y. So q equals to dou z by dou y substitute here q equals to f dash of x cube plus y cube into 3y square. This is equation number 3. Now we solve equation 2 by 3. Now we solve equation 2 by 3. What we get p by q equals to f dash of x cube plus y cube into 3x square by f dash of x cube plus y cube into 3y square here f dash f dash 3 3 get cancelled and see the next step p by q equals to x square by y square p by q equal to x square by y square now cross multiplication p y square equal to q x square from this what is the value p y square minus q x square equals to 0 now let's see in options yeah see in options here option 2 is the correct answer option 2 is the correct answer See the next question. See the question number 20. The singular solution of the differential equation y equals to xp minus p square by 3. Here p equals to dy by dx. Here we have to find the singular solution of the differential equation y equals to xp minus p square by 3. Let's see the solution. Here the given equation is y equals to px minus p square by 3. That is equation number 1. Okay. Actually, equation 1 and the a formation law on the it is in the form of y equal to xp plus f of p. Okay, it is called Claret's equation. In Claret's equation, what is the general solution? Substitute p equals to c. So the general solution of equation 1 is y equals to cx minus c square by 3. So that is equation number 2. It is a general solution. It ain't it a general solution, but what we required, we required a singular solution okay now let's see here here we are partial differentiating equation 2 with respect to the c if you partial differentiate equation 2 with respect to the c what we get 0 equals to x minus 2c by 3 0 equals to x minus 2c by 3 from this c value is 3x by 2 now we substitute c value in equation 2 and simplify this so what we get 4y equals to 3x square from this what is the value 3x square minus 4y equals to 0 now let's see in options yeah fourth option is the correct answer question right. number 19 the general solution of the differential equation y square into log y equals to xy plus p square here p equals to dy by dx okay let's see the solution given equation is y square into log y equals to xp y plus p square here the degree of y and p is 2 degree of y and p is 2 and degree of x is 1 so degree of x is 1 so we solve this problem by using solvable for x method okay so from equation 1 x value is x equals to y log y by p minus p by y this is equation number 2 now differentiate equation 2 with respect to the y we know that differentiation of y with respect to the x that is dy by dx dy by dx value is p but here what we get dx by dy so if we differentiate x with respect to the y value is dx by dy 
from this what is the value of dx by dy 1 by p okay now differentiate y into log y by p minus p by y by using u by v formula by using u by v formula what we get 1 by p equals to 1 by p plus 1 by p into log y plus p by y square minus half take the dp by dp by dy words common y into log y by p square plus 1 by y into dp by dy here 1 by p 1 by p get cancelled and from these two terms take the p by y common if you take the p by y common what we get y into log y by p square plus 1 by y minus y into log y by p square plus 1 by y into dp by dy equals to 0 here these two terms are common so if you take the common y into log y by p square plus 1 by y into p by y minus dp by dy equal to 0 from this what we write y into log y by p square plus 1 by y equal to 0 that is equation number 3 and p by y minus dp by dy equal to 0 that is equation number 4 so but what we observe here equation 3 is discarded that means it is eliminated so since it gives a singular solution equation 3 gives a singular solution so we discard equation 3 so what we take here we take the equation number 4 okay take the equation number 4 and separate the variables what we get dp by p equals to dy by y and apply the integration if you apply the integration so log p equals to log y plus log c here it is in the form of log a plus log b from this what we write log p equal to log c y log log it cancel and the remaining value is p equals to c y okay here eliminating p from 1 by using equation 5 if substitute p equal to cy in equation 1 what we get y square into log y equals to cx y square plus c square y square if you take the y square common so y square y square get cancelled and the remaining value is log y equals to cx plus c square so then the general solution of given equation 1 is log y equals to cx plus c square okay 